was that like out there? That yeah, was fun. Uh, had a blast playing with those guys. Uh, wish we would have, uh, you know, come came up with the win, but uh, sorry, it was a great experience, a lot of fun. When you're when you're best on best like this in a fun environment, does it mm -hmm. sort of make you yearn for best on best in a more serious environment, like Olympics or World Cup or anything like that? I lost me on that question. So sorry. no, just the best on best playing yeah. in the Olympics or World Cup. Again. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Uh, obviously. Um, I don't think anyone would not want to play in one of those tournaments. Um, you know, to see the talent on the ice this weekend. Um, you know, hopefully uh, we can do that someday. Do you think you will? Do I think I will? No. Well, the league will. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I. I think I'm the wrong person to ask for sure. <laughs> uh, but I think it'd be a great, a really cool thing. Johnny, did you say you're looking forward to being in the same locker room as Sid? What's it like being mm. next to him in the? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. I mean. Uh, you know, kind of intimidating sometimes, but uh, just such a normal guy. And uh, I was just chatting with him throughout the weekend, sitting next to him uh, in the skills and then tonight. So uh, it's just it's just great to be around him. Great, great to be around Ovi. And, uh, you know, it's a really cool experience for, for me. Did you campaign at all to be on a line with Kevin or did that just happen? That just happened. I mean, I assumed it was going to happen. I mean, we're, uh, we're so close. So such close buddies, and you know, played together a long time ago. So, um, you know, it was, it was great to play with him again. Love, uh, love playing with him. Did you feel like any of the chemistry lingered? Uh, yeah, I felt like it was there still. I, I think he was a little bit playing a little bit back, defend more defensively for for our line. Uh, I think he's more reliable, reliable defensively than uh, me or Panarin. But um, you know, he did a great job back there, and uh, you know, he uh, you know kept our kept our play, you know, pushing up the ice, I guess. I think that's a result of towards, you know, emphasizing defense. Yeah, maybe. I mean, in college, he was, uh, uh, Jerry York put him on the penalty kill as a defenseman because he had such a long stick. We were talking about it today in the locker room. So, um, you know, he's, he's been back there before in college. So, uh, you know, I think, uh, I think he did a great job today. How did it feel to be the first player to score a hat trick in this? Oh, it was awesome. Uh, just couldn't slow down the Kachucks. Uh, they, were, they were running around out there pretty good, so. Yeah. Are you going to be hearing it from <laughs> Yeah, from Matthew, yeah, for sure. Definitely going to be hearing it from him. Um, I'll probably win the MVP if they win the game. He's, I think he had like five, six, seven points tonight, so um, you know, good for him. How much do you just kind of watch when you have Ovechkin and Crosby yeah. on the ice together? Going yeah, back? it's fun. It's, uh, I said earlier, I think we should have kept them on the ice the entire second second period there. We probably would have won, but um, it was just to see those two guys playing together. And, and be a part of it and on the same bench, it's, uh, it's pretty special. What's the, uh, we, we're now part with three on three to become such a part of overtime and this, like, is it something where it used to be something where maybe you did it in practice and everything like that? Like, how does your view of three on three look at now? Compared to um, yeah, it's changed a lot since it first started. I think when it first started, you saw a lot more odd man rushes, um, a lot more games ending a lot quicker. You know, now teams are, you know, trying to tire the other the other teams three out. It's a long change for them, so you know, a lot of possession time, and um, I think that's what's changed most. Are you on Team Pro Extend Overtime to extend it to get rid of shootouts, or like I know if there's been like yeah. some guys have said. That yeah, I think it'd be awesome. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, I like shootouts too. They're pretty cool too. So whatever they decide, I'm, I'm easy. Just, yeah. you know, um, just go with the go with the flow. You had a really good uh, family section here mm -hmm. today. Everyone was going nuts for you. Yeah. And in fact, your uh, cousin Patrick ran up uh, to the glass. After Did he, he chuck the hat? Patrick, he chucked the hat. Yeah, there's one hat out there. I was wondering who it was, and you know, now I know it's my family. So um, at least uh, I saw one hat out there. But um, yeah, they, they supported me uh, from day one since I was a kid and through college and the NHL. So to have them here this weekend, it's uh, it's really special for me. And uh, I was glad uh, I had a got a guy to get a few goals for them. So it was nice. Star is over. What's next on the docket for you? Um, gonna stick around here for a little. Um, going vacation. I think I have two, three days, two days before I have to be back in Columbus. So, um, I guess my my bye, bye week's a little bit shorter now. But uh, you know, just kind of relax for the next two days and get back to Columbus and uh, get geared up for the second part of the season. I'm sure you've been asked this, but how was the game out there? It was awesome. Uh, a lot of fun. It was Really cool playing with Kevin again. Um, really cool uh, being on the same team as Sid and Ovi. Um, you know, that's pretty special to be a part of that. So, uh, really cool. Were you able to catch any of the first game? Yeah, we watched in the locker room. Which is nice. Yeah, I think it was uh, a little more defensive. Um, 
our game, uh, I think there's a lot more odd man rushes. And uh, I think the Kachucks just went all out and <laughs> wanted to win that game pretty bad. So uh, I think Matthew had like five or six points or something like that. So. Is that something you talked about? All right, let's go try to be more aggressive or have more fun, try more things, whatever? No, we, we wanted to win too. Okay. So uh, you know, we came out pretty, you know, they, they got an early lead, but we took a 6 4 lead and then. Uh, I don't know what happened after that. We kind of just fell apart, and they scored six more on us. So, um, it's all right. It's a great experience. It's a lot of fun. I know the guys had a blast in there, and uh, you know, uh, that's a really cool, really cool experience. Did you guys think about calling a timeout, maybe just regrouping a little bit? I. Uh, it's a question for uh, Brenda Moore, yeah, for the coach. But uh, I think we were fine. We were fine right there. Was, we were up six four, and then, like you, like I said, I mean, next thing you know, it's ten six. So. Sorry. You mentioned Sidney. Was part of you a hockey fan out there at that point? Just kind of yeah, that? yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, Obi's all fired up for every goal. You know, he's coming down the bench, you know, giving the high fives, and um, to watch those two guys on the ice. I mean, you know, most of the guys here grew up watching those two, so to to be here and to watch that and be a part of their team, it was really really cool. Any little souvenirs that you take from that, like pictures mm -hmm. or autographs or anything um, like that? No, me. I'm. I'm okay. I just uh, the past two All-Star games, I've uh, I'd get autographs from from the winning from our team, the winning team. If we won, that's the only thing I've really done. But um, no, I just kind of take it all in, you know, and, uh, and enjoy it, and have them run around, and get stuff signed, and pictures and stuff. Thank you. Yeah.